I don't remember how to do this! Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Sacred Guard, and welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. And on the last episode, we am coming up here in Hotland. Faced off against Muppet, beat her. I think, she, I think she's still in here, hang on. I'm coming in here, having a little spider dance, dance with the spiders. Yep, here she is, right here. Uh, we ended up beating Muppet, and we are on our way to the next area. I have no idea what's about to go on with this, um, post from Anton Zeta stage performance. A tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers, kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. And you can only imagine who's gonna be, um, in the performance itself as well. Hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, wow! <laughs> okay. I, I know you guys like can't actually see this, but I'm t I have this in windowed mode, and I'm taking a look at the uh, the title of the game itself, and it just changed from Undertale to Undertale the Musical. <laughs> oh wow, oh, that was actually kind of funny. Mm. I'm sorry what you saw that as a piece of food stuck to my chin. That's very unprofessional of me. I greatly apologize. Okay. Up. Oh, here we go. Oh, that human! There he is! Could it be? My one true love! Uh, I don't know. I mean, if there's, if there's anything that I know, it's the fact that the Five Nights at Freddy's fandom has taught us to not fuck the robots. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him sing. I'm gonna let him do his thing. Can I move? No, I can't move. Okay. All right. Okay. If it wasn't for the fact that Metaton is killing me, this would be like a number one performance. Actually, no, putting that aside, this is really great. That was amazing. That was amazing. I'm not even gonna lie. That was really freaking amazing. And oh my god, that music. So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Well, toodles! Oh. Okay. Alright. Oh no! Whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon by the Monster King. I'm terribly sorry, my love. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my power more will surely perish. Oh! Oh, oh heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. We're actually bringing this back? We're actually bringing this back? I don't remember the rules! I don't remember how to do this. Oh god, okay, uh, uh... Each color tile has its own sadistic function. Please tell me you'll tell me the rules. For example, a green tile sounds a noise and then you must find a monster. Okay. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. No, please. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? Yes, but I don't remember the rules! I can't... I didn't think we'd actually bring this back! That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? No! No! Great, that I won't waste your time repeat. <laughs> How would... Oh, God. Okay. Oh, and you'd better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... Oh, God. You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. 
<laughs> My poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Oh god, I gotta get through! <laughs> I don't remember how to do this! Uh, 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 ah, jeez. Uh. Ah! Oh god, no! Oh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Was I actually supposed to complete this? Please tell me. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Here come the flames, darling. Oh boy. They're closing in! I'm ready for it! I'm ready for whatever the comments has to throw at me! BRING IT ON! Close- getting closer! Oh my! BRING IT ON! Any minute now! Robotic cough. How do I do that? <coughs> <coughs> or something like that. I don't know. Oh. Watch out! I'll save you! I'm hacking into the firewall right now! Oh. oh no! How could this happen? Boiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys! Okay. That... that... That's right! Come on, Metaton! Give up already! You'll never be able to defeat us! Not as long as we work together! Yeah! The power of friendship! The biggest cliche of all time, but it's enjoy it's very enjoyable here. Your puzzle's over. Now go home home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? Oh jeez. They make a sound, and then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Oh boy, here we go. Metaton attacks, okay. Now I know I can't actually like physically hurt him. I think I can. I don't, I don't wanna I, I don't wanna ruin my pacifist run if I actually do have to legit fight him. Uh Yeah, I can't hurt him. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You'd better answer it! Hey, hey this, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. How much how much stuff did you put on my phone, Alphys? Come on now, next thing you know you're gonna tell me that you put a porn app on there. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's app and you press it. Okay. Yellow. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Benetton's presence. Okay. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Okay. What the hell? What? Oh! I press Z. Oh, I'm doing like some Galaga shit! Take that! <laughs> oh! Oh! You've defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. What? Oh. Uh, okay, bye! <laughs> what? Okay, so I got an- Okay, so I was wondering when, like, I would, my soul would change again. Uh, looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. It's all thanks, it's all thanks to you, Alphys. What? Oh, no, I mean... You were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, uh, hey, this might sound strange, but... Can, can I tell you something? B before I met you, I didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. We've all been there, trust me, Alphys, we've all been there. Uh, like I couldn't do anything without 
without ending up shutting everyone down. But, gu guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So, thanks for letting me help you. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past uh, MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Okay. Uh, I didn't think that we'd actually have to go back through the puzzle again. Oh my god, I can't believe they brought it back. God damn, god damn you, Toby. Oh, hey, it's an ice cream guy. Hey, it's you again! Business is excellent here! These two fellas bought all my ice cream! I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile, how about that? It's good enough. Oh, hey. We're, like, taking the rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? Seems happy. I, I can rat on them. What? What? Our Royal Guard 1 and Royal Guard 2 are slacking off? Come on, they should be killing you right now. Not that I want them to, I mean. But they can at least try, you know? <laughs> oh, it's over here. Oh, hey! Hey, hey, did you remember my name? Did you? Uh... I think it was Heat Splames Man or something like that. What? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? I'll always remember that you remember. <laughs> okay. Let me check what's over here first. Okay, that's the set, so... Oh. Okay, this must be uh, MTT Resort. Snack break here. Okay. Hey, go up to the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Uh. Well, I want to talk to Sans, but. Uh. I'm gonna go over here first, Sans. I'm gonna go over here first, real quick. Let me see. Oh! Mr. Key, okay. Uh, talk to you. So like, so like, what's up? About you two. I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend Caddy. I'm Caddy, this is my best friend Braddy. Okay, about your wares. The stuff inside is like totally wicked expensive. But like this stuff we found is like totally wicked cheap. You should like totally wicked buy all of it. Okay. Where the hell did you get it from is what I wonder. I mean like where does anyone get guns or food or we found it in the garbage. It's good garbage. It's like really good garbage. Uh, okay. Where do we get the garbage? Where do we get the garbage? Like the garbage store, duh. Waterfall mostly. I found a gun in the dumpster. Okay, about Metaton. Oh my god, Metaton. He's like my robot husband. Actually, he's like my ro my robot husband. I think we're like both going to marry him. We're both like already married to him. He just like doesn't know it yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, Origin of Metaton. I know Me uh, Alphys created Metaton, so. So like Doctor Alphys built Metaton, right? That's like what they tell you. But, like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. 
And even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was an old friend. But they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy. Best friends forever! Ugh. Ah, I hate voices like that for girls! Ugh. I hate it. Oh my god, Alphys! She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Anime. <laughs> then she became the world scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. We're a scientist. So Alphys has always, like, thought Asgore is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So Metaton does have a soul? That's... Oh, that's probably why my... Okay, why it turned yellow, because that's Metaton's soul. Metaton, Asgore, asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little girl. Yeah, like us. I want to know more about Asgore, because I keep hearing his name over and over again, but I don't know anything about him much. Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's, like, so nice. God, we're, like, so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Well, I'm out of here. Like, see you later. Later and stuff. Is, did they have anything to say about this? Nope. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Hyped for the destruction of humanity. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna take like a short little break to like, like absorb all this in and deal with that crap. So I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. All right. Okay, now the whole thing about Metaton like having a soul and whatnot, I've actually been, uh, I've actually been hearing a couple rumors and whatnot, but supposedly. Uh, Meta- okay. From what Braddy and Caddy were saying about, like, Metaton acting like, uh, he and Alphys were old friends, and then the, I, like, the, I, like, the whole, bo uh, the, him being built was his idea and whatnot, is speculated, is speculated to believe that, um, that Metaton may actually be, like, a ghost, like, naps the book, because when, when I went to naps the book's house, there was another house over there, that would obviously, like, would end up belonging to another ghost, and that ghost is Metaton. And it's locked. I think maybe that key could be, end up, I could actually unlock it. I don't know. But, yeah, it's speculated to believe that Metaton is actually a ghost. Which explains the fact that he, that they said that he has a soul. I mean, well, yeah, if it makes if it says that he, like he has a soul, it's probably like Metaton himself is the soul. Like the ghost is the soul itself. I don't know. It's like it's, I don't know, but I guess like that that would be that would be an interesting concept. I won't lie, that would actually be an interesting concept to believe. I don't know. I'll think about it later. Let's talk to Sans. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Uh, sure. Great, thanks for treating me. What? Hey, you're the one buying. <laughs> you asked me out. To, you asked me out to dinner. You're the one buying. Come on. Man. Over there, I know a shortcut. Another shortcut. <laughs> well, here we are. So, your journey is almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, Bottom. Though, 
Maybe sometimes it's better to take what is given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Uh, honestly, I don't think it is. Because he is right. I mean, there's plenty of food around here. I can earn money myself. I've got plenty of friends. Oh, and I've got a mother back home who I can't even go back to see anymore. Uh, and I can't even call her on the phone because the freaking dog took it from her. Uh, I miss Toriel so much. I really do. Oh, uh, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Okay. Hey. Let me tell you a story. So I'm a century in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. But suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. And who's there? Oh, it's talking about Toriel! So, naturally, I respond. Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes is a very bad joke. <laughs> then she just howl- wait. Then she just howls with laughter. Like, it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yell Ha ha, that's good. Well, needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky when it's bedtime story. <laughs> I wonder if that story is about capturing humans. Or, no, even better, maybe it's about spaghetti. Well, she told me to come back again. So I did. And I did again. And again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes to the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. And she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? So that's why he didn't, like, flat out give me the papyrus. I mean, even though, like, the whole job is boring and everything. Because he, he made this promise. No, I ain't making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. That is true. That's very true. Oh, the music's gone. Oh, the music's gone. Oh, I don't like it. Sans? Do you know what I'm saying? The promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Oh God! Oh, he didn't even make the he didn't even, uh, the time the text didn't even make any noise this time. Oh my God! Ah, uh, that's so creepy. No text sound. No pupils. Ah. Uh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh. Oh, boy. Uh. Okay, so if he hadn't made that promise, he would have killed me. Wait, why? Wait, why? Why, 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 why would he have killed me? Why would he have killed me? I was nice to his brother. I was nice to his brother. I... Yeah, I didn't kill his brother, I didn't kill Toriel, I didn't kill Undyne, I didn't kill anybody on the way over here, and you're telling me that if you didn't make that one promise the moment I came out 
and you snuck up behind me, you would have killed me? Freaking shank me in the back when I'm not, like, just freaking shank me in the back when I don't even mean any harm. I'm just trying to get home. Ugh. Ugh, that's so creepy. Uh, and it still kind of, like, weirds me out, too. Like, whenever Papyrus talks, like, his mouth actually moves. But when Sans talks, his mouth doesn't move at all. Like, is he just, like, does he just have, like, a permanent smile all the time? Like, his lips don't even move? Like, he's just, like, talking through his teeth? Uh. Hey, what the fucko? I'm just joking with you. You don't joke about that kind of thing, Sans. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. <laughs> My first death was actually because of those royal guards. <laughs> hey, what's that look supposed to be? Am I wrong? Oh, would like, would there be different dialogue if I didn't die at all? <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. If someone really cares about you. I know. <sighs> I know. Okay. It's a wall of fame full of quotes and photos from visiting celebrities. The food is to die for. Gorgeous style and fragrance. My face tastes beautiful. I'm pretty sure that's all from... Yeah, these are all meta time. <laughs> it's a platoon of ficuses. It's some kind of TV show featuring meta time. Okay. Hello. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. Like, why? Okay. Hello. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things winding and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go, ugh, two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. So I can tell you. I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. Okay. Hey, hello there. It's a snow drake. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. Oh, is he like part of the mafia? He wants to be a, com he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells his awful puns. It's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> oh, that's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> That's not funny. Uh, now, why should I? Now, why would I tell you something like this on the day of my wife's birthday, when I don't even know who your name, human kid? <laughs> uh, blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your. Okay, I'm out of here. There's an inscription on this fountain. World Memorial Fountain built 20... 21X. Metaton added last week. Okay. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel fills you with determination. Okay. Hello. Welcome to NTT Resort. Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. What the heck? That's a cat with shoes. Or whatever that is. As a slime, I'm outraged. As a slime, I'm outraged. Oh, that's it? That's all you have to say? Hello. Yes, we know the elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200G? Oh, come on. Can I? That's not enough money. 
MTT. Welcome to MTT Burger, uh, welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day. <laughs> welcome to the Glam Burger, home of the Glam Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, uh, it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. No, talk to me. Okay, fine. How can I help you, old customer? Uh, Starfay, very popular food. Glamburger, very popular food. Uh, steak in the shape of Metaton's face. <laughs> um, let me get a couple Starfays. Thanks, E. Have a fab you full day. Can you talk now? What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers. Sorry. So, I wanted to be an actor. Oh. Take it from me, little buddy. Life advice. I'm getting that on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old, and I've already wasted my entire life. Romance advice. Listen. I like you, little buddy. So I'm going to save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people. Unless you're one of them, they're just gonna take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak some, them some glam burgers. And I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. Glam burgers. Two chicks. Oh, is he talking about Caddy and Braddy? So I went out to the alley to see those two ladies. Yep, okay. And, uh, you know, see what happened next. Oh, you were, you were, uh, hoping for some, uh... Eh, was that, was that it? <laughs> then my boss uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pockets tumbled out onto the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. <laughs> I actually like that name, Burger Pants. Metaton. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish, my little buddy. Why is Metaton bad? God, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says, that's not how they do it on the surface. Oh! Okay, there- yeah, there's the menu. Okay, I see it now. The first one's the Star Fae, the one to the right, that's probably the legendary hero, because the last- the third one is the Glam Burger, and that very last one in the bottom right-hand corner is the Snake in Metaton's face. That's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, he's probably- probably because he watched the anime with Alphys. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. What? Why else is MTT bad? Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking red <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the voice he was given, I don't know. You know, one time I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make itself more rectangular. They don't work. <laughs> your future. Tell me about your future. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait, there's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's gotta be a second chance out there for me. For everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Alright. I'll see you later. Anytime, little buddy. Alright. Let me go out here and talk to Caddy and Braddy. Maybe they've got a different side of the story. About the uh, burger thing. Yeah, they do. Burger pants. Oh, that guy from the store? Yeah, what a creep. Yeah, he's a creep. But he's kind of cute, too. Come on, Caddy. Don't you have any standards? Nope. <laughs> 
okay, like, the annoying thing is, he'd be okay if he just treated us with some respect. But he just acts really weird. And then he acts like it's our fault he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get the, get those glam burgers, he dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. We were, like, going to share them. Really? I wasn't. Fatty. No, wait, no, no, don't say that, don't say that. You're greedy. Caddy? Uh, wait, can I actually sell anything to you guys? Thanks, but we, like, don't really need anything. Oh my god, can you go get us some glam burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you a thousand G if you get Metaton to autograph my butt. Damn this game, I love it so much. <laughs> 